morning, y'all. So today, Griffy, come here. Come here. I don't think Griffy's even been in a vlog, has he? This is our puppy, Griffy. Oh, you want it? I haven't vlogged in a really long time. Um, and I thought that I would just do a little vlogging today. Wilson obviously is um, in a very excited mood right now. Um, yeah, I don't feel like I've done any updates or anything. And honestly, I have a ton of motivation to do any videos. And honestly, the other day, I was telling Bobby this, my husband, I was like, I don't think I want to make YouTube videos anymore. And literally that same day, I got like three messages on Instagram and comments just like being really encouraging. So if you're one of the people that messaged me or tagged me in a picture on Instagram or something, um, thank you so much because was feeling just really down. I don't know. I just was feeling like I, I didn't really want to share anything on YouTube or just was feeling like not motivated and just feeling uninspired and like I didn't really have anything good to say. Um, are you singing? I'm just going to be doing some fun things. I need to go to the thrift store because I have to return something. And um, I thought I would take you all along with me. Also, I have a craft that I'm going to do with my Cricut to make a gift for my sister-in-law. I'm just watching some YouTube. I'm watching Farmhouse on Boone. Pretty much the only videos I watch on YouTube now are like garden videos or like people with farms. I don't know. I just... We've start, started looking more at like different homes and properties. I've been looking at land. Bobby just looks at houses kind of, but um, kind of just looking at different areas we might want to buy in eventually. And so um, I just have been obsessed with watching like farm videos. Also, I've been obsessed with um, Ballerina Farms on Instagram. She's like a, she's like Miss Utah or something. She has six kids and um, her and her husband, her family, they run a farm and it's like, I don't know, very entertaining. So I've been really into that lately. Home updates, let me show you. Huge pile of laundry right now, so it's not really making it look put together, but I've decided that I'm gonna stop caring so much about what it looks like when I'm filming stuff. So I got this um, coffee table on, what is this? a leather ottoman coffee table on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I started sanding it. It used to be this color, um, but I couldn't get in every crevice because I was using like an or orbital sander. And then I got this uh, cabinet for free and it has like this arch mirror and I'm planning on taking the arch mirror out and using it as like a regular mirror and then I'm gonna paint this, I think like a darker color. I don't know. What do you guys think? It has shelves that I need to do. I got this mirror from my grandma's thrift store um, that she works at, and I love it. It's so pretty. This was in the back room. Um, I need to still refinish it. I picked it up on the side of the road for free. It was in our back, but now that we have Griffy, his cage is back there, his kennel, so I had to move it up here. And I don't hate it, but I just have like wood. And then I also thrifted this that I'm gonna be doing a little thrift haul on, or a thrift flip thing. Um, I have a lot going on in this room right now. <laughs> a lot. And it's a mess, but this is real life, huh? So while Wilson naps, I am going to be making a little craft for my sister-in-law who is graduating from high school, which is super exciting. So I'm going to be making her a little shirt. Got this really cute shirt from H&M. Um, oh, I should probably iron it before I do anything. Um, and we are going to be making a cute little auntie shirt. This was actually her sister, mother, sister-in-law's idea to make her a cute little auntie shirt. So I'm going to be working on that today with my Cricut, which if you don't know what a Cricut is, it is pretty much just like a smart cutting machine, the ultimate smart cutting machine. It does everything. It cuts things that are really delicate, like fabric or um, thin paper, and then things that are, you know, a little bit harder, like leather and all that. So... It is the ultimate smart cutting machine and I have been obsessed with making little things. Like I've made a few shirts for Wilson, really cute. I want, I have a lot of other ideas that I want to make like cute little stains I want to put on them. So I'm still working on that, but um, I need to like find him little shirts, which Walmart actually has really good um, basic shirts that you can buy. I mean, so does H&M actually for like women's and stuff In men's, they have really good basics. So this one's just so cute. But anyway, um, so I love my Cricut machine for all of that. I made some cute little labels for my garden and also I've made some little shirts for Wilson and I have so many other ideas for little shirts I want to make. And then today we're going to be also making a shirt um, for our little Aunt Pretty. That's what we call our Aunt Pretty, but we're not going to put that on a shirt because we don't think she would wear a shirt that says Aunt Pretty. 
So also, I think I want to make her a cute card. I'm like, I have all the things I need to make a cute card. Why would I go buy one when I can make a really cute custom graduation card for her with the Cricut? Because it cuts paper and all of that. Um, so I'm going to try and figure out a cute little saying to put on there. Cricut Design Space is what you use to make all your designs and choose all of the things. So this has a ton of templates you can use. They have so many different cute fonts to choose from and try out. So I'm just gonna mess around with this and cute, but I think we need a different, well, that's kind of cute. Okay, so I'm gonna mess around with this and find the right um, font for this. So for today's craft, I'm just gonna be using my Cricut tools and my Cricut maker to make all my cuts for my stickers. And then also I'm gonna be using my Easy Press to iron on things to my shirt. And I'm gonna see kind of what layout I want my um, little things that we made. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, so I feel like that's probably a good little spot. It looks like a very classy graphic shirt, like college shirt or something. I love that. I hope she likes it and it will actually work because I think this is so cute. I kind of want a mom one because I feel like this would just be a really cute simple mom tea i don't know okay so this is what i have do whatever setting for um the temperature specific for the fabric you're using which is awesome and i'm just using the everyday iron on vinyl okay now i'm going to start designing the cards Okay, now I'm just gonna start placing my letters. The Cricut made a perfect little sticker for me. So, here's my little weeding tool here. Okay, this is how the little card turned out. Um, I kind of messed it up a little bit, but I think it actually looks kind of cute. The final little reveal of this. This is like the most satisfying part when you peel this off. Okay. How cute is this shirt? I think it turned out so stinking cute. Love it. Not a super exciting part of the day because we have to go get the car. Wilson also is so sad because I just made oatmeal for myself and he's not having any. He's at that age where now he wants everything. And if I don't give it to him, he's sad. But I have these overalls on. So cute. But we're going to go get our car because we just got it cleaned. Now we're at Habitat for Humanity. What do you think, bud? You ready to go in this door? Yeah. Oh, my stuff in here. Huh. I already see something cute though. Look at this mirror. 40 bucks. Stuff in here. They're cute. Boat pictures. This is kind of fun. I don't know what that's for, but I need like a candle snuffer thing. Sniffer, snuffer, what is that called? This is really pretty. furniture in there like all back there it's crazy sweet little napkins that lamp is cute 50% off so 25 bucks this cute table I don't need one but I love that okay there's gonna be a lot of good stuff in here I think okay I love this table I don't necessarily love the patina on it that's my favorite word right now but I love the legs on this it's like super farmhouse looking so fun that is 225 for the set with these chairs this. Oh, dang it. oh i love this dang it sold lots of furniture done at the thrift store with i went with my sister-in-laws to another thrift store um and i don't think i really filmed in there i showed like a couple things but i have a good little haul that i'll share with y'all and then drove by a property but we're starting to look at areas properties things we like about houses we've gone to a few open houses um and i drove by one today and it's like 
not a farm, but it has a big piece of land with like a garden um, and like a chicken coop thing. And so that's kind of the goal is to have a little bit of land. But this house and it was so, so cute. It's a clock now. Um, and Wilson is eating some dinner. Oh, he's getting really good at his little, what is that called? The pincer grab? Like he'll grab it with his two fingers. Let's see if I can get him doing it. Okay. Okay, well he does it really good sometimes, but that was pretty good, bud. Huh. The best part about having a dog is he eats the scraps. In the bath, I wanna go show y'all outside cause it's gotten so much bigger. So let's go show you outside. You wanna go show them the garden? crazy those are all raspberries i feel like it's more than it was last year also that's our makeshift fence right now our beans which i need to water all of this actually we have our tomatoes our zucchini is getting so big and then nothing's sprouting oh a few radishes are sprouting up right there very exciting these are getting really big so so far that's what the garden looks like also all of these green patches are flowers I'm so excited. We have zinnias and marigolds in here. So exciting. Are you ready for your bath? Oh, I wish I were a fishy in the sea, in the sea. Oh, I wish I were a fishy in the sea. Ah, I look so cute without my bathing suit. Oh, I wish I were a fishy in the sea. Oh, I wish I were a little bar of soap, bar of soap. Oh, I wish I were a little bar of soap. I'd slip me in a slatty over everybody's hiney loves sitting instead of like in his little baby thing. Do you love it? He loves free. Mom tip, kind of, maybe. While Wilson bathes, which right now it's kind of hard because he's like sitting, but it, I usually try to clean the bathroom, like clean the toilet, clean the sink, and today I'm cleaning and wiping down the bath, like tub. Little tip, because they're entertained and you're like watching them. All fresh and all clean. <gasps> okay, let's do a little thrift haul. Okay, so first things first, I got these little shorts. Um, they're Tommy Hilfiger, and I've been wanting a pair of high-waisted white shorts. Um, and I don't know if these will fit because you can't try anything on. So those might be posted on my Greer's Closet Instagram page. Then I got these. Also, have not tried them on. Um, they were in the little boy section. They're definitely not little boys. I don't really know, but Levi's. Like, if the Bermuda short trend works for me, that would be awesome. Those are really cute. And then I got some cute stuff for Wilson. So if you're not into kids uh, thrifted clothes, then that's fine. This was $2.99. It's by the brand Miles Baby. And there was a few things there um, that were this brand. And I just think that they're really cute. Like, I could tell they're super nice made. Um, this little long sleeve that was $1.99. And I got, what sizes did I get for him? I think like 18, 12 to 18 months. Um, and then these are just Target brand, I guess. Cat and Jack. And these were $1.99. They're like these heathered little cute sweatpants. He doesn't have like a lot of sweatpants like that. I thought those were cute. And then these were brand new Zara baby little um, overalls. And they are little girls, but I'm just going to cut that little bow or I could leave it, it doesn't really matter, but they're 12 to 18 months, really, really cute little Zara pants. And then I got this Zara shirt for him. This is a Wilson haul. This was $1.99 for 12 to 18 months. And these are just like the best little shirts, like a little rest um, Henley shirt for him. Super cute, it's like a cute texture too. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is Hannah Anderson actually, and this is six to 12 months. A little wetsuit and I just thought that um, that might be good I mean he's been in the Sun before but I feel like in Florida I'm a little nervous we're going to Florida in a couple months and so or is that a couple months then I got these little shorts for him so cute just for church and stuff I just think they're adorable and then I got him these cute little skinny um, corduroys and these were $1.99 I don't know where these are from but super cute little corduroys so that is everything that I got thrifting. It was pretty much just a Wilson haul, but I'm gonna try those shorts on. So let's see how they fit. Okay, I'm always really bad at gauging my size, I guess, because these are really cute. They just don't quite um, fit me, but I love like the Bermuda short trend. I think that that's really cute. I wish I could, maybe I could do a belt with these. I don't know. 
Okay. So excited about these. I feel like these pretty much fit me perfectly. I mean, they are so beyond cute. I don't know. Is it, do you think the Tommy little thing is like okay? I don't know. They're really cute though. I'm very, very excited about these because I've been wanting some high-waisted white shorts and they're vintage. They're perfect.